Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do refunds for online orders. So somebody asked a question, I got an online order and I can't prepare it on time or I can't make it or I can't have it ready. How do I do a refund? Okay, so to do a refund for an online order is the same process that you do refunds for in-store orders. So what you do is you go to your Clover device here, press orders, you can also do it from a different method such as transactions, but I prefer going through it from the orders app and then find the order and then just click on it. And then once you click on it, you'll see a button. It'll say refund. It'll say delete, re reissue receipt, depending on how you, the transaction was made. And then once you refund it, it'll ask you refund the entire order, one item or give them a gift card. So you can have these options to choose from. Once you refund it, Keep in mind, it takes about two to five business days for the customer to receive their refund. So let them know that the refund is on the way if they do ask, because it takes a few days for them to get a refund. But one thing to keep in mind is that if you, if the order is the same day, right? You could do a void, which is very is instant. In other words, when you do a void, it voids it out. So this one is more instant. If, if your customers uh, do, if your customers, um, you know, order that same day, you could do a void. So you cannot do a void the next day, but you could do a void the same day. So basically what that means is if you have not batched out yet, you could do a void. If you already batched out, you can't do a void. You can only do a refund. So refunds could be done a week later, maybe a month later, depending on how your account is set up. So a refund can be done way in the future, but a void can only be done on the same day before you batch out. And that's how you do that. And let's say you're away from the Clover device, you're at your laptop and your employees call you and says that this customer call, came in and uh, is asking for a refund and, um, and you have not given your employees permission to do refunds. Now you as the owner who has a laptop at home can do a refund from the computer. So all you do is you find the order and then give them a refund from the laptop. If you wish, you can go to the employees app by Clover. And then from there, what you do is give managers permission to do refunds. Uh, you may want to give permissions to employees, but this is not recommended. Uh, usually managers or owners have permission to do refunds. Owners get it by default. Managers can, can have it or not have it. It can be taken away or it can be given to them. So that's how you do refund from the Clover device or from the Clover dashboard. And keep in mind, voids are done the same day. Refunds are done after you batch out. That's it for this video. Subscribe for more videos like this and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.